are live. Peter. Thank you, Teresa. We have somebody that needs to mute. And there's some, I, oh, I got a mute. Got there we go. Um, so welcome back. Uh, this is the second part of the House Appropriations meeting on Friday. Uh, eight, no, this is May 8th, I think. Wow, the days are flying by. Um, I did check in with uh, with uh, leadership about timing of bills because I, we're not meeting every day and I need to understand timing. And so I, I said that we had a, a couple of questions about this bill, whether um, it's, you know, how if it fits into the category of COVID emergencies or whether it could be considered within the skinny bill when we're addressing FY21 revenues, uh, because it, it really wouldn't fit within the budget adjustment because we're adjusting the current year bill. So, um, Larry, we're just uh, holding off on some information, I think, as we circle around with the committee so we can understand the emergency aspect and then the timing for the floor. And in the meantime, our committee will wrap our heads around uh, the $9,000 uh, that's needed um, in order for the, the group to meet. Does that sound like a plan? You're muted, Larry. Yes, that, that sounds fine. I'll report that back to my committee this morning. Okay. Here in about 15 minutes. Um, Excellent. And thank you all very much for your consideration. It is it is an important bill and certainly um, as our children go back to school this fall, hopefully they will, um, the uh, needs are going to be greater than they've ever been before. So thank you so much so for Larry, your consideration. It's the timing. Can it wait? Can it wait for the skinny bill, which will go out prior to June 1st, that's one question. Um, or if it is a COVID emergency, what puts it in that category? Um, prior to June 1st, I think we'll be fine. Okay, the governor may not get it signed by then. Uh, be in that time frame that we're, you know, we're, we're going to move BAA out and get the skinny bill done as fast as we can. And I'm hoping it's out of the House and out of the Senate before the end of May. I think Madam Chair, I, yes. Uh, this is the timing on the skinny bill will be fine because they, yeah. they this bill will allow them to continue to have meetings in fiscal year 21, which we will get the bill out and it'll be signed by one July or else everything shuts down. So skinny bill out, this the meetings will continue in the skinny bill will be fine. Thank you for speaking for the Education Committee, Peter. <laughs> no, I think, I, as I indicated, I think that will be that will be fine. And, and okay. We, will you check though, Larry, and get back to me? And yes, I will. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I'm off to another meeting. I'd be off to the golf course if I were you, but two o'clock, I hope. Good. Okay, so very quickly, I was hoping we could um, make a couple of decisions about the. Um, the Budget Adjustment Act that is in front of us. Um, we can't make, we cannot make a decision about the end of year, the treasurer, well, I guess we can, but I'm asking the committee if they would allow the treasurer, she was going to make some phone calls today and get back to us Monday regarding the news that Steve dropped to us that there's rumblings that the administration in Washington is considering pushing out uh, tax collection dates even later. And um, if that happened, the treasurer's um, construct wouldn't work for us anyway. And she wanted to check with other states to see what they were hearing and doing. So since we're not voting today, um, I think we have time. I'm asking the committee, can we give the treasurer time to uh, come back with some additional information? Can I just get a, I see a couple thumbs up, perfect. Okay, so um, the first thing that I'd like to do then is the administration's language, the end of the, the language with the uh, amount of dollars. And I think we can all be unmuted as long as you're not playing jazz or your wife's not calling you to lunch or your husband's not being demanding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I couldn't help myself. I apologize. Could, could <laughs> apologize to your husband. Yeah. Jazz muter or hater. <laughs> Peter, do you take requests? <laughs> well, I can't play anything myself. I mean, I've, I've spilled tunes trying to pour them into a bucket, you know, but I love listening. So I got a question. Yes, Are we, what we're doing now going to be in lieu of 4.30 or one other time? Yes, it is. If we can work really quickly and get done by noon, it will be in lieu of that. All right. Thank you. Okay. So the, the first thing is on the, the second page of the language, um, not, they have um, deleted not to exceed 50,000 and they have added four different agencies and departments. Um, or... And they have also deleted from one component of the agency department or other unit of state government to any component of the same entity, department, or unit. Which sounds redundant. Am I missing something there? Same agency or department unit. They just want they want to be able to go to a different agency mm -hmm. if necessary. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, and so we do, there is the vehicle of the emergency board that the governor can convene. There it is. Um, so, so there is always that option, but this is for FY20 only. It's in the effective dates that it will end um, uh, with the end of the fiscal year 20. Knowing so, there's a few weeks left. Uh, was that Maria? Yeah, I'm sorry. I. Um... I just wanted to, you had mentioned the effective dates. I just wanted to point out that the committee could um, do a notwithstanding the statute and give it a, a clear end date for this change yeah. so that it's a little clearer when a person reads it, that it's just for a limited period of time. Thank I you. understand they're changing the statute here and then they're putting the time limit in the effective dates. That may be... I don't know. You can decide what you want to do, but there is an option. You could just do a notwithstanding. I think that you're correct that we would not withstand for a period of time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So and it's not permanently changing statute. And so Maria, that would be in section session law rather than in the statute. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. That was a good point you made, Mary. That was, that was great. I just checked with Steve and we both agree that a notwithstanding would work perfectly in this section. I think, I think, Mary, that was a good catch and in, in not to change uh, statute since it's just temporary. First, would the committee agree that if we make any changes that we do it through session law and not changing statute? Agreed. Okay. Agreed. Yes. Yes. Okay. And so um, what is the, let's talk about the money amount first. Either we put it back the way it was or... Um, I think that there's some concern from my conversations with members about just having unlimited, uh, an unlimited number. Um, first, um, do we even want to give a number here? And if we do, do we want to limit it or go to unlimited? So if you put up your- Kenny, can you tell me what those concerns are? Well, if it's unlimited, you you really, <laughs> have quite broad uh, capabilities of what you could do in the budget. I, you know, unlimited, it would, you know, I, I do see that it's for transfer oh. of appropriations, um, but we have hefty balances and special funds. Um, I, I just think it's very, very broad, but that's up to the committee to decide that. I'm just trying to figure out what the disadvantages are. I mean, it sounds as if he wants to be able to move funds around within the general fund, he said, not mm -hmm. special funds. Okay. And but I, I don't know if that's stated here. Of money. We're not increasing the appropriations. Pardon me? But I don't think it's stated here just are within you, general fund. No, but we could if we wanted to. Um, and if, if they have to plug hole in one department, how else are you going to do it? They could do it by uh, convening the emergency, emergency board. board. And, and, and not doing it one at a time, but to, to bring 
we have these five issues and this is what we'd like to do. They wouldn't have right. to convene the board five times. Kitty, could you, could you outline how complicated or uncomplicated it is to convene the e-board? Um, the governor would need to convene the e-board and I think that we would have to um, allow for remote, uh, for remote uh, voting. Uh, so I'm, I'm just, I have an email text about that and I'm looking for it. Uh, we probably have to la uh, add language yep. authorizing that remote voting could happen through December 31st. Okay, thank you. We may, this isn't our business, but it strikes me that it might be wise for the e-board to um, seek that permission for sure. whatever reasons now. going forward, regardless of what we do with this language. Yeah. So, uh, Teresa, can you take down the language so I can see everyone's faces? Oh, uh, sure, absolutely. Easier for me, thank you. So what are committee members thinking? Marty, and I don't know if you were finished before we, somebody, we went into another question. No. So Marty asked what the concern was about allowing an unlimited amount of money to be moved, um, even for a time limited period. So I had a first concern about from fund to fund, and so we can manage that. My second issue is simply one of powers. I mean, one, it, it is the legislature's responsibility to appropriate. Responsibility. Um, and, and this starts to step over into that and is essentially an erosion of what is our appropriate authority. And, and, and so I'm concerned about that. I didn't hear from Adam a particular need or insight into why they need this, this amount. He, he said early, you know, when they were first thinking about it, and it totally made sense a month ago because yeah. it was totally unknown what they were looking for. But we're now three weeks to the end, and he could not identify an area where there was an urgent need for this. If there is one, he can bring it to us in the BAA, and we can manage it right now. So I'm a little lost as to why this is so necessary right now. Right. As time has moved on, it's become less necessary, and so do... do does the allowance need to be as broad, perhaps? Meta, you have your hand yeah. up? Oh, well, uh, Mary, in the course of Mary's comment, she covered what was running through my mind. At this point, I would add only that to me, wanting to, I would feel much more comfortable leaving things the way they are because it establishes a, a framework such as, uh, for instance, the... Um, Joint Fiscal Committee uh, discussed with regard to um, the framework for accepting the uh, the big grant from the CARES Act. Uh, the same issues came to play in terms of that conversation as to who has what responsibilities. Um, Made it frozen. Made it. We'll come back to you. You froze. Those means oh, you're unfrozen. Things already exist. Hey, uh, Dave. Yes, um, I, I think Mary makes a good point. You know, there's not many weeks left, and this is really needed. Um, I will say though, I think the fifty thousand has been been around for a long time. Um, when I was first in state government, in ninety. Six. It was fifty thousand. It still is today, um, and I can remember having a you know a childcare center that was about to go under that needed a bridge grant to work things out. I didn't have any money in childcare, but I had it in reach up, 
uh, because of declining caseload. And I can remember saying to my business manager, well, why don't we just transfer it? Oh, you're limited to 50,000, Dave. And I said, oh, okay. Um, so, um, you know, I can see the need for it, but maybe maybe increasing it to 100,000 and not and having some, uh, see how it goes, some parameters. The reason it shouldn't be unlimited is because we set policy and people can, can just go in a whole different direction, uh, well-intended and maybe with good cause, but um, that's why we have a legislature to do those kind of reviews. So if people wanted to do it now, I'd be comfortable, but up to 100,000, I'm really not sure it's needed at this point in the year. Thank you. Uh, Chip. Um, and I, I, I agree with a lot of what both you and Mary have said. I do, it does seem to me that this could be a very useful thing for the administration to be able to address issues that close out that are just significantly different this year than um, in, in other years. And I, I'd be happy to see us give them the authority to do it. And, and you know, at more than $50,000, I'm sort of struggling to come up with what is the right amount because I, I do think that Adam has a point that you don't want the governor to call the e-board for something that's really insignificant, but but I will go back to what I was trying to say to Adam, which is I'm also not comfortable having it be unlimited because it does, at that point, I think it does start to get into Dave's um, uh, issue about whether we're, we're sort of changing, potentially changing policy. I, I guess at a, at a lower, at some number that could be greater than, certainly greater than $50,000, I don't think we risk changing policy at this point in the year for the, the limited uh, work they could do with it. But it, it seems to me that we should give them the authority. We should make it more than 50,000. I'm struggling to come up with what the right number is. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Marty? Marty, can you hear me? There you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think they need the authority to be able to move money around. I And I think $50,000 is a piddling amount given the circumstances, the way money is moving. But, and I feel that having a limited amount of time, this is only until the end of June, you aren't gonna have any policy changes, I wouldn't think. It would seem to me it was just, if there's a big overrun in one area that we had wanted to support, and there's less someplace else, and you can cover the hole by moving it from the big hole to the other hole, to the to the excess, that that makes sense to cover it, as long as we're not spending more money than we had originally planned to spend. And, and I don't know, Adam suggested a million dollars. It sounds as if many of you there might think a million is too much. Um, but whatever number seems to make sense for them to move from one area to another to make things come out even at the end of the year, I think is our goal. Uh, Linda. I agree with uh, uh, Marty. I really think we should give them some leeway. Um, the million gives me a pause, <laughs> but um, I think it should be somewhere in that general vicinity uh, of a million dollars, just because of a, a, any need that might come up at the very last minute. Okay, um, do, Dave, your hand is up. Uh, did you have another comment? I apologize, I forgot to lower it. Yes. Okay, Marty, did you have another comment? I just... no. Okay, uh, Kimberly and Mary and Peter. Yeah, I, um, I'm hearing what everyone says. For me, it's really a two-part question. Um, the dollar amount, I agree, should be updated and should be raised. And I defer to those of you with more years of experience in terms of what that number might be. It is an unusual year. Um, on the other hand, moving it between agencies, that seems to me a different level of yep. moving around resources. And for that, it seems to me that the e-board would be the more appropriate place. Mm, that does make sense, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm gonna to go to Peter and then Mary. Peter? So Kimberly, I agree. We ought, to, we ought to insert language that states if you're going to move it from agency to agency, it ought to be the uh, the e-board. 
As far as the dollar amount, I've heard a lot of different dollar amounts. Um, I would like to just offer a $250,000 as a bit of a compromise here to put in there. Um, absolutely agree with, with what Chip was saying earlier. And when the Senate does receive this bill, they'll, they'll, they'll again, a little further down the road and they might be able to further refine what's actually needed there. But at least we'll, we'll put a number there that's not overly um, um, unconstrained. You know, we're, we're, we're constraining it to some degree, but not to, not, to, not loosening the reins a lot. That's it. Uh, Mary. I have a question that maybe Maria can help me with. Um, we are concerned about there being, you know, big holes in created in the budget. What is the likelihood of that, given that we are also backfilling um, those holes, or the governor has the ability to move money with both with the three with the two pots of money that he has authority to spend in an unlimited way effectively. So what is the likelihood of there being holes created beyond the over two million hundred million dollars that he has an ability to fill right now? Okay, I think that because this language has to do with closeout of the fiscal year, um, sometimes there's unanticipated things that come up. You know, um, there could have been an expenditure that we haven't been um, keeping our eye on, or there could be some unanticipated need for money. And I think that's what the commissioner is saying, that um, he needs that flexibility just to address any of those um, issues that come up as we try to close the books. Um, I could try to find some examples of that for you. Um, and you know, let me get back to you on that. Since I'm, since I had the floor for one minute, I just wanted to also mention that the legislature is also um, limited by that 50,000 transfer clause. And so if you feel that it's appropriate, we could add some language allowing the legislature to also transfer between appropriations because, you know, that may happen as we move further along towards the end of the fiscal year. Okay. So thank you, Maria. It just to, I, so I think we as a group are appropriately concerned with the ability to do close out, mm -hmm. but I'm a little flummoxed by why there will be an additional amount, you know, a huge amount, yeah, sure. given this ability to bring other funds to bear. Um, okay. I, I, but I, well, let me find, let me get you a good answer on that. I, I, I think, Mary, that, that the, this language came to be um, several weeks ago when, when right. things were much more in turmoil and they didn't know um, how, what, what smoothing was going to look like. And I think that we're in a smoother plane right mm -hmm. now than we were right. uh, four or five weeks ago. Um, it, it seems like it's getting much more complicated. If the legislature has the same requirement at 50,000 and the administration does, there, there's, a, there's a procedure, there, there's a policy in place now. If these changes are needed, you use the e board. And so, do we want to, and this is up to the committee, do we want to go in and change it for the legislature, change it for the administration, <clears throat> or do we want to say, use the process, make the e board? come together. I mean, we, we came together back on a Zoom seven, seven or eight minutes after the floor. I know it's a little bit different to call a meeting, but I would think within 24 hours, you know, yeah, right. AC has said that they would be able to meet within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the need even really exists now to to make the change. And if we do, we should make it equally between our own branch and the executive branch. Yeah. That's all I'm thinking. We Including would... judiciary. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it, does, it does still make sense to me to, to allow them to have some more flexibility than exists now, and certainly a, some more money uh, level than they have now, 
in order to do closeout in this particular year. Um, to Mary's point about you know the money, the other money they that the administration potentially could use, I'd be I'm more uncomfortable with that than with this. I mean, this is money that we've already appropriated. It's not increasing the amount we're spending in any in any way. It's just allowing the movement of some of that money to to address what is it, you know we might probably should expect are going to be a little bit unusual circumstances at the end of this year. Um, I I I think I get more comfortable as people are suggesting that maybe we not uh, require e board to meet if they're going to move it between agencies if you keep it within mm -hmm. the same agency. Um, that that seems to me, you know, even more of a constraint on on what they could do that might affect policy. And, and I guess I'm I'm still for giving them some flexibility, increasing the amount to some degree. Um, I'll leave it at that. Okay, uh, Diane, is your hand up? Yes, please. Thanks. So I like listen. I'm pretty comfortable with the following, but you know, I'm also pretty flexible on this, but. Where I would feel comfortable with is like Mary's that you know the notwithstanding to make sure it's just session only the amount 250 as Peter suggested might be a good good number or even even 500 if we needed to but but I would also be real real comfortable with and that's where I think my heartburn in is that there's no movement not just between agencies but department and unit without the e board. Um, approval and then i would include the legislature and the ju judiciary but it doesn't have to but it would be nice so those four things okay any other discussion so i, I think what i would like to uh do first with a raise of hands how many of you would agree if we make any change that we do it within session law and maybe we already agreed on this i can't remember Okay, so we do it within session law and not change statute temporarily. So we've, right. we've got that one down. The next piece is, is to uh, where they would like to change from same or different agency. I've heard from a, a, a few of you that the e-board should be used if it's going to go from uh, when I keep coming back to ETF and if it were going to go into natural resources. Um, that if they're going to make a change where it, it's really leaving, you know, uh, an agency completely, uh, AHS to natural resources, that it would remain with the emergency board. We don't have to write anything because that's the way it is. Right, right. So, Just write their deletion. So if you agree to leave that piece alone in the emergency board would, um, would be the path raise your to to leave it as is not as in there okay to leave as is yeah okay so so right now we're going to strike their change for different right. agencies and that would be left for the emergency board uh, how many of you would like to set a dollar number That's my first question how many of you would like to set a dollar number i have one two three four five six i have plenty of those hands Okay, so if we're going to set a dollar number, there already is one of 50,000. So it's going to be more than 50,000, but not unlimited, I think, that yeah. we're hearing from the committee. <laughs> um, we have uh, a couple of proposals on the table. There was an earlier one at 100,000 in Peter. There was one for a million, and Peter said to come together at 250. Um, not me. Um, let's see if we can come to a number that we all can agree upon and, and feel good about okay. knowing we still have the e-board. Marty? Oh, that's true. Um, no? So, so we have 100, 250, a million. We had 500. Diane said five. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's just, let's yeah. just pick a middle of the road number. Yeah. 250, 250 is fine. <laughs> Five. <laughs> we're, we're, let's take Peter's 250 and see how many votes we get. Well, because Kitty, I think I people that? want more and than Kitty, 100 and less than a million. Peter? Kitty, will, will we be going for the question as to whether or not that amount applies to the other branches of government also? 
Oh, that's the other piece. Yeah. Yeah, we, we would. Uh, let me ask the committee that. If we choose a different number, how many of you agree that it should apply to all branches of government? I don't know if this happens within judiciary. I don't either. <laughs> it should. Okay. Oh, my hand. Yeah. Covers my whole face. So Maria will find that piece out. So yes, the legislature will. will have the same capability. Okay. So now let's uh, come up with a number. So Kitty, um, can I ask a question? Yes. I, um, so I, I'm at a bit of a loss to, to know how to decide what's the right number. And I just wonder if your experience on the e-board helps you, hmm, get, you know, give us some, I, you know, I'm looking for some benchmark, like, you know, what would I do? What would I look to to say, this is a reasonable amount of money to allow them to transfer or, or this is, this is a reasonable amount of money to expect that they might have to transfer. I, mm -hmm. I don't know how to come up with that. Yeah, I don't think that there has been any consistent, um, anything that would be telling that's, that has been a consistent problem year after year where the e-board has weighed in on an amount that's, I, I couldn't weigh in on that because I haven't seen a pattern that would, that would um, tell me to do that. But if it were at sub, some substantial amount, you would probably want the e-board because you're both branches of government are represented. Yeah, I'm just trying to determine what, what makes it a substantial amount. Yeah, because if it is substantial, it really should go to the e-board and not one branch deciding. Um, I see hands up, but I don't know what the hands mean. Um, are they left over or Linda? No. Linda? Linda? Well, I was just going. I was just going to suggest that since I originally said a million, I would like to lower that, but go higher than Peter, and just at a, at five hundred thousand dollars. It seems to be considering what they're going to be dealing with right now and the issues that may come up. That seems to me a reasonable amount of money. But well, we've already we already vote. Didn't we already just vote on that? No, no, not on the yeah, amount. Not on the money. Um, Kitty, hold on. Yeah, Peter. I'm going to go on mute. I will leave this on. I have to make a really important phone call. I've been involved with something going on here with state government, and I've got a noontime phone call. That'll take three minutes, but I'll, you'll see me. Okay. I'm going to be on mute, and I'll be able to listen. Okay, Mary. Um. So as as you all can tell, I've been uncomfortable with increasing this authority to state the obvious. Um, I appreciate the fact that this mm -hmm. amount hasn't changed over time. And so I let myself get comfortable with 100,000. Um, given that the administration could not articulate a reason to go, you know, substantially beyond where we are right now, um, I, I cannot get comfortable with going to 500,000. That, that, that is a large amount of money. In, the, in AHS, it's not any money at all. In the judiciary, it is a large amount of money to be able to move from one program to another without mm -hmm. our appropriate policy oversight of that. And I'd really rather land at 250. I'm letting you drag me up to 250 <laughs> from 100. But that Thank makes you, more of a way. Putting some weight on the 250 takes more to drag okay. than the I think that the, the question is, because I wanted to get one more thing done and I've got to get to a meeting. Um, I think they're the two numbers on the table now are 250 and 500. You get one vote, not two. So um, it, does Let's that go. sound fair to the committee that we'll vote on those two amounts and whichever one gets a majority and just don't make me break the tie? <laughs> okay, um, let's vote on the first one, 250,000. Do you want to do this by raising our blue hand? I have Peter, Diane, Mary, oh. Bob, Kimberly, Chip, Dave. We're at 250. Okay. No, All right. right. I felt like I was just at an auction. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. 
Okay, um, I'm going to go into my meeting a minute late. Um, or hey. actually, we'll, yes. Are, are you aware, I think came via the email from Karen Horn that we may need to do a, a tiny um, on the floor amendment to our hmm. municipal hmm. thing I next haven't week? Seen it. I haven't seen it. They we'll, talk, we'll bring it up uh, on Monday. Yep, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, okay. To the okay. so you're aware. Okay, thank you very much. And we'll bring that up on Monday. Uh, the last thing I wanted to do, and Mary has a meeting. I've got a, a meeting I have to yep, go to. Thank you I wanted to, uh, uh, to, to clean up clean water. We'll do that first thing on uh, Monday morning to decide what we're going to do with the clean water piece. Um, and then that way we'll also have heard from the Committee of Jurisdiction. I was hoping to uh, take that off the table, but we're late. Okay, so um, Monday we'll be back. And uh, Teresa, you got to start drafting that language. For when are we? Okay. When are we Monday? You need Maria. Maria. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at Maria. She knew. Yeah, <laughs> I knew. I knew. Yeah, eight, it's all good. Eight thirty Monday. Okay, so I I need to eight. stop the live stream.